one out. The first drive will start at the 25. Upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going, and then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. From the gun, it's Allen. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Stephon Diggs, his intended receiver. And that takes us from second to third down. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. From the gun, Allen. Complete to the running back, Matt Breda. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 yards that time. They had a Buffalo first. But well, one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, Never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving. Scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And they're well past midfield. Just a yard or two shy of the 40. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. First down, Buffalo. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. Allen. And he's going to go down. Back near midfield at the 49. Bud Dupree. Credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Play action. Now it's Allen. And he's going to go down again. Harold Landry, he's the one that drops him this go around. And that pass rush getting strong here. Back-to-back -back sacks. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Operating from the gun. Allen bearing this one out for Evans. six-yard line and he takes it all the way down to the three so there is the big arm of Josh Allen on display he can throw it as deep as anybody and that was an absolute laser a terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door first and goal they'll try to run this one in They're able to get a couple here but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one Pick up the two. Up second On second and goal. Allen. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. The CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. And this came from the interior of the defensive line. And these guys, they're normally anchors of that spot. And they don't often get clear shots at the quarterback. But in this case, he got past the center and the guard in no time and got there to make the play. Allen now on third and goal. And he'll go underneath here to Brita. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. 
Breida. Matt Breida, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Bills take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Makes this extra point right down the middle. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Taken in at the three. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. The Titans take over first down 10 at their own 21-yard line. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 21. Carry for Derrick Henry. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and 10 at the 21 yard line. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. Now a handoff to Henry. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. On third down. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. First down and much more for Henry. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. And that one heck of a run right there. Once he got loose, you could tell that he was going to run a long way. That was pretty impressive. And first and foremost, this is all about vision. He could see the play developing right in front of him. And once he's past the line of scrimmage and got a full head of steam behind him, He's just going to keep right on going. And according to Next Gen Stats, his top speed on that one, better than 20 miles an hour. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going deep for Brown. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Again to Henry. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. They want to pick up a first here on third down. Now Tannehill. Flushed out right. He may try and run for this. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. That was a good effort there trying to do it on his own, but as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you, and if you take off too quick to try and get him down, 
he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. So they'll pass on what would have been a 49-yard field goal attempt, and they're going for it on fourth down. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. They snap it to Tannehill. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sat back at the 38. Vernon Butler, and the Bills are going to get the football back. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They had to go a long way on their last drive to score the touchdown. This time, they get at least a little bit more of a cushion with field position. I have to think that with this field position... And the Titan defense steps up here, and down he goes. Credit the sack there to Harold Landry. Harold Landry with the sack, and the third-year player out of Boston College. He led the Titans in sacks last season with nine total, and now with the addition of Vic Beasley, that should take some pressure off of him, and maybe his numbers might even jump. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Well, as we get ready for third down, let's go back and recap here. The sack on the first play of this drive, that threw a wrench in what they were trying to accomplish because they were compelled to throw the ball on second down. A running play was not in the works. And that incompletion set up another passing down here on third and long. On third and long, it's Allen. Cannot get away, and down he goes. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. <laughs> On first down, Allen. They will find Davis. That's complete. It's a gain of five on the play, and that'll make this a second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Now it's Breda. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Decided to hand it off that time on the run-pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Looking for Evans, and it's intercepted. Christian Fulton, the rookie, picks it. Come on, bring it, baby, bring it. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. PAT up and good by Rosas, and we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And this will make it into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 15. They'll start on the ground with Breda. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. 
On the tackle, it was Dane Crookshank. Defense able to get there, swarmed to the football. Zilch, zero, nada there for the offense draws. Yeah, it really was an example of good team defense, wasn't it? Everyone handled their responsibilities, and they held them to no game. Coaches preach to their guys all the time, separation. That's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. Throwing his Allen on third. He's got Evans. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. On first down, here's Breida. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Well, CD, a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast the linebackers don't have a chance to react. Allen now on first down. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Dane Crookshank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sort of a second quarter to forget for him. Now two picks in this frame. Almost as if the first one that he threw, he couldn't shake, couldn't get it out of his head. He ends up throwing the second one as a result. Compounds the mistake a little bit. Yeah, you got to be able to forget, compartmentalize, whatever you want to call it, and move on. He hasn't been able to do so here in the second. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, that, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. Here's a second and five now. Now from the 25. Derek Henry. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Nice carry there by Derrick Henry. Picks up a first down. And when you say workhorse, you're thinking about Derrick Henry. Won the rushing title in 2019 with 1,540 yards on the ground and 16 rushing touchdowns. Went to his first Pro Bowl and carried his team to the AFC Championship game. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. A big play that time for the Titans. 44 yards. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. We'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. 
Now it's Tannehill off the bootleg. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off down at the 10. And the return will stop right around the 25. They are in an interception mood on defense. Had two nice interceptions a week ago. Now two here in the first half. Yeah, we call it ball hawking. And the only way to truly be good ball hawks is not guessing. It's not just simply anticipation. It's study and understanding what they like to do and beating them to the spot and creating big plays. Well, they're watching the film, and it's working. Oh, that was dangerous. Throw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home. And they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync. Only way to play good defense. Now a throw downfield is taken in by his running back. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. As they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Buffalo. From the gun, Allen. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. Well, the Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. So it's third and long, and defensively, not a real surprise. They're in the dime. Operating from the gun, Allen. That's complete to his running back, Evans. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. How about that? They weather the storm of a third and 17 to pick up the first. into the hands of Burita. And he is out of bounds, but right now before he's inside the 30. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. They certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And Allen going to be intercepted for the third time. Picked off at the 14. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. When he went on the move there and started rolling out, I thought there was a window, but that window closed quickly, intercepted. And sometimes, despite how big your arm talent is, you don't get enough on a throw when you're on the move as opposed to setting your feet and stepping into one. That may have been the case there, and the defense certainly benefited. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And we're under a minute to go here. What's been an even first half all tied up? Yeah, still time to make something happen, too. A couple completions, you string them together, could get in the field goal range. Let's see what happens. And he's got Rome. And they finally get him down, but not before he reaches the 34. A big play there just before halftime. 43 yards on the ground. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout. 
as he'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Tannehill now to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Here's Allen following the fumble recovery. Flush to his right. And now he's going to use his legs. And he'll be out of bounds he's near the 30. In fact, right on the 30. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. He'll find Gabriel Davis. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. And they get 17 more on that one and another first down. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7 seven, seven our score. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20 yard line as he's down at the 19. The Titans take over the first end team at their own 19 yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. We have not seen much on offense from either side. These last few drives, it has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally. And you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out. Okay, we self-scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? Time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense. They always have those in their back pocket, don't they? You have to. And if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing, you lock into a rhythm and make it easy for the opposition. Looking for tendency breakers right now. Play action. It's Tannehill. And right side, Henry's got it. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. Not able to get a single yard there, and it'll bring up third down. But the stats that matter on this play don't help a team very much, unless, of course, you're playing defense. If you're getting points per reception, you got a reception, but yeah. no yardage. Great job by the defense, though. They, they read through that one. They read through it, gave up no yardage, and people got credit for tackles. Pretty good deal. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Tannehill with a play fake to Henry. He'll throw instead. And that is incomplete. But you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those. But the coverage has been excellent thus far. And it was again on the last play. Here's Brett Kern now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. This is taken at the 18. So a good punt there, but a very strong 14-yard return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Their defense did its job, yielded no points. Now it's the offense's turn. And how much fun is that when you set things up to start a half and you just tell you guys, hey, if you can shut them down, get it back for our offense, we can roll. 
and they played out perfectly. Now, can the offense do what they wanted to do at the half, which is find those weaknesses and now attack them and score some points. And break this tie. On second and nine, Allen. That'll be complete to Breida. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when you're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with the football. Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. It's second and They stay on the ground. Again, it's Brita. And he is going to get this close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the Titans 28. It goes as a gain of eight and it moves the chains. Yeah, once more, strong running, excellent blocking at the point of attack. Look at a nice little drive room right here. Now a pass dumped off to his running back. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. Got to give some credit there defensively. They snuffed out that screen early on first down. Really read it well, didn't they? Because they didn't bring the pressure that they expected. They covered all the passing lanes. So once you see it break down as the passer, I think in this situation, you're throwing it at the feet of your back to make sure no one picks it off, or you throw it away, throw it over the sideline. Don't try and freelance and try and make a bigger play. There's really no one else running a pattern that should be open. Looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. He's been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted, but I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yep. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their history. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. second and eight at the 27 yard line just beating the play clock now it's Tannehill he's going to find his running back it's complete and he takes this up to the 40 yard line before being corralled a gain of 13 it's a first down Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Now, 
Henry. A gain of three, second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. Off play action. Tannehill. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. He's picked off at his own 46. And they will set up shop in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. Scoring has really been at a premium. And, Charles, you got to tip your cap to this defense coming in here. Their offense, too, but this whole team coming in here on the road, getting a hard-fought win. I think the way that they're finishing this one up, an exclamation point on a terrific game. As you noted, hard for them to put on points now. on the board. And they hold them down one more time and finalize things. A very solid gain of 27. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Here's Breda. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Second down and four. Allen. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Dane Crookshank. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. some room to get this up to about the 14. The tackle is made by Micah Hyde. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Six yards left on second down. They'll run it again with Henry. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and yeah, dropped. Yeah, we don't it's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and 10. This is going to be a Titans first down as he'll get this up to about the 42. Oh, that 
has one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. They'll run on first down. It's Henry. Tremaine Edmonds, the Bills' leading tackler in 2019, in on the stop. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. On second down, here's Henry. Pushing forward for three up to the 48. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones, they have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. Back to throw, Tannehill. He's going deep for Brown. That's caught inside the 20. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That goes as a gain of 36 on third down. Well, this is where an offense needs to show what it's made of. And in fact, where a quarterback needs to show what he's made of. Trying to engineer a fourth quarter comeback. And he hits a big one right there. First down carry for Henry. And he'll be taken down after a pickup of about seven as the clock will stop here for the two-minute warning. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. At the nine-yard line. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Again, it's Henry. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Third down and four. Zone touchdown percentage last year, 77%. It's first and goal. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow, wow. I know it's a never-say-never never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but that, you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get over-eager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. And this will make it into the end zone. And with time of factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25.
Bills come to the line to start their next drive. One possession game, <laughs> time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation. But this is Friday practice every week of the season. You go over this situation, having to go downfield, limited timeouts, got to get out of bounds and keep the drive going and set yourself up. Defensively, you can't just lay back and let them do whatever they want. So it is a cat and mouse deal here. How much pressure will the defense bring and how much pressure can the offense handle? We're going to find out. He'll look to throw. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. At the 39-yard line. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. To throw is Allen. He's going to let it fly. And he can hang on. That's definitely going to be one he wishes he had back. Incomplete in the end zone. on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Allen to throw. Eluding the pressure right. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. Seconds left, we get a timeout call. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And this is going to be caught. It's caught. And they've won the football game. Brandon, you know I love boxing, right? You know I love big fights, right? <laughs> I had given them the standing eight count a few times along the way. And look at how this one ended. Yeah, they had, well, I guess nine lives just like a cat kept fighting. And there in the end, making the huge play to get the game winner. I guess that's the epitome of you always have a puncher's chance. So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills. And you've got to say, CD, it was the defense who had a big part in the W. Oh, without question, when you force four turnovers... You get to enjoy the spoils of victory, don't you? It's rare that you force four turnovers and lose a ball game. That's almost unheard of. They carried this one home. He talked about celebrating with each other and being in a position where going forward, all you think about is, let's get five next time. They're going to be on the hunt. So for the Bills... They boost their record up to a strong 4-1. and one, And they'll return home next week to take on...
Thank <laughs> you.